Hey lads, what is going on in here today? And I'm back with a brand new video. It is the BPL Team of Season Predictions. If you haven't seen my League of BBVA one, go and check that out. It was uploaded a few days ago. So, yeah, that one got some decent feedback. So, here's the next one for you. In goal, we have David De Gea. Obviously, as you all know, this year he's been absolutely amazing. I think he's got top clean sheets this year and everything. He's just been so, so good. Along with the other goalie on the bench, you'll see later on. Them two is a close call, call between, but apart from them, them two have been dominant. Then now we have him right back, Nathaniel Klein. He's had a great season. He's had an upgrade on FIFA. I mean,. Southampton have done better than expected, so he'll definitely get on. There'll be a few Southampton players in this, just the fact that how well Southampton have done this year, it was like out of character. And yeah, next you have John Terry. I mean, this might surprise you a bit, but he's had an insane season, to be fair. Him and Gary Cahill between them both, I think I'd have to pick John Terry. He's had a great season. He always does well, but like just consistent, like this is what it's about. It's not about being the best, obviously. But yeah, then we have Leighton Baines here, another great season. Between him and Kalisha, I didn't know if we put Kalisha in there, but then I did go for Baines because, once again, he's had a good season. It says Fabregas, most assists in the league. He started to dip in the last few like months, though, recently, because I haven't really seen much of him like, at the start of the season. He was getting assists for fun, like just constantly scoring assists, everything. Then we have Yaya Torre. This was between him and uh, Philip Coutinho. I wasn't sure which one to go with. I did go with Yaya in the end, just the fact that um, he's so solid in there and uh, defends as well and comes back. Then we have Alexis Sanchez. Arsenal's been like a two-man team, him and Giroud. Uh, so did Giroud in this because there's just so many strikers this year. But yeah, Eden Hazard now. Um, once again, Chelsea, of course, dominating the league. So he's definitely been the best left mid. There's not, no one else really even in contention. Like, I can't think of anyone that has done as well as Hazard this year. That's why Hazard's in there. Then we have Angel Di Maria, had a great start to the season, started to dip recently, but still definitely the best car in the league in my opinion, so yeah, he's doing amazing though at the start, whatever. then Diego Costa, I hate the prick, but um, definitely deserves one, scored a ton of goals and whatever, so yeah, um, that's, that card looks absolutely insane, the 88 face 89 dribbling, 93 shot and 94 physical, then Sergio Aguero, this guy, pff, I don't know what to say about him really, he's, had, he's not had his best season by a long shot, like he's had other seasons where he's been way better, but once again, still amazing, so, yep, um, definitely deserves one, though. Then T-Boy Courtois, him and De Gea have been the best two goalies in the league by far. I mean, there's not many others, maybe Forster, but there's so many Southampton players in this team, I think it's two or three. Then Winston Reid, I didn't know if it was him or Cahill, but I thought two Chelsea centre-backs would put someone different in there, so I went with Reid. That car actually looked pretty nice, to be fair, 80 pace and 87 defending, 87 physical. Then Sigurdsson, moved from Spurs, he's had an insane season at Swansea, scoring quite a few, a lot of assists as well. So yeah, he definitely deserves one in my opinion, I mean, he's been pretty good to be fair. So yeah, I mean, that card was pretty good, 89 shooter, maybe that's a little bit over the top. Then Christian Eriksen, of course, he has to get one in my opinion, he's been so, so good. Like scoring quite a few assists from free kicks are just insane though. He deserves like 97 free kicks or something. He's been so so good. Then Charlie Austin. This is between him and Giroud. But I think I've got to go with Austin. I know QPR will probably go down, but with how this guy, I think they won't even have like any points this year to be honest. And then finally, one of the last couple is Graziano Pella. I mean, he's got to dip again, but um, he definitely deserves one. But finally, of course, the most obvious one. It has to be. Of course, you'll see in a second, um, Harry Kane, what a player, what a player. I'd put him in the starting 11, but I just did it by the ratings, he's been so good, definitely the best striker in the BPL this year, probably one of the best worldwide at the moment, absolutely amazing. Obviously scored in his England debut last night as well, but yeah, that's the team, tell me what you think of it, put suggestions down below of who you think you should change or whatever, I'm happy to do that, because someone said about Neymar in the BBVA, the only reason didn't pick Neymar, well, because Vela had an insane season, when I, mean, I couldn't really take Vela out, so yeah, there's sometimes like not enough spaces to do how many players deserve it. But yeah, lads, thanks for watching. Anyway, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and I'll see you all later with another video.